is the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today I got one from Shulung Khan from China. I found this two days before uh, Lunar New Year and uh, it was a little spendy, but worth it. Love finding interesting stuff and that definitely fits the bill. So they're calling it a sour and spicy hot pot board, board noodle? I think that's what they called it. But it, in all actuality, I believe this is just like a standard rice noodle. Or a, it's tough. Everybody wants to translate it differently. I found the most useful one was a translation out of uh, Malaysia. So I kind of went with that. It seemed the most descriptive. Open up. These take three to five minutes. All the ones I'm doing today take like, it seems like a lot of time. <laughs> oh, these are different, that's for sure. All right. So what you do, Shay, you take the noodle, pour it in the bowl, Hope there isn't a desiccant sachet in there. No, it doesn't look like there is. Okay, good. And that'll go for five minutes. It said three to five. I always err on the side of just cook it a little longer. It won't kill you. That's what I'm doing now. So, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time hitting the thrift store lately. I really dig going to thrift stores because I've found some just all, all sorts of weird stuff. What did I get recently? I got a network addressable storage, which is kind of jacked up, but it works. And it's got a two gig hard drive in it. And that's enough to store a ton of stuff. It, play, it uses Plex, so that's cool. What's the thing I got the other? I got something else that was just like a super score. I can't remember. I've gotten a lot of stuff over there that ends up being really good. Kids toys, often. I got the bread machine there. That was like 27 bucks. Yeah. I got, I've gotten bowls over there that are pretty cool. Plates. Um, all manner of oddities. I just like getting weird junk. But what I really want to do is go through the entire house and like downsize like there's no tomorrow. Because it's like we got their bookshelf and there's books in there that they don't look at. So we get rid of those and donate them and then like get a bunch of new ones that they're all about. Um, there's just generally just like too much stuff and I just want to get rid of stuff. It's nice when the, the there's like a lot of room. I like open. But there's like, I don't know, I've got a certain thing about certain possessions that I'm just like, oh no, I can't get rid of that. Oh no, no, no. Because it's just like too cool. So. But, you know. What did I get the other day? I know I got a cell phone that I had to return. That's no biggie. I got a little thing that you put batteries in it and you fill up the bottle with booze and you push the button and it's a little Belgian boy mannequin statue with a metal rod and it pees out your desired beverage. It's a famous, yeah, the little fam famous pissing boy statue in Belgium. There's actually a beer named after that called, uh, I don't know if it's, it's mannequin or mannequin peas, but it's just like a little boy sitting there going, eh, taking a whiz, you know. Just taking a whiz, you know, it's just eh. Oh, have you been watching? Uh, oh, it's over for you now. You could go and watch the whole thing if you haven't watched any of it. Um, God, what's it called? Book of Boba Fett. Well, I think we're on like the sixth or maybe the seventh episode of it, and now Mandalorian guy, Mando's back. It's kind of just all of a sudden, it's just like, 
Boba who? It's Mando again. I don't know. And Grogu's back. And Luke Skywalker's a douchebag. And like, you can take this nice little Beskar sweater vest that your old buddy Mando made for you, or had made for you, or you can have my lightsaber. It's like, so. Yeah, he basically said, screw you, Luke Skywalker, you're a dick. <laughs> and went on his merry way. I don't blame him. Although the lightsaber is pretty cool. But then you know what's gonna happen. Luke Skywalker is gonna come back and go, you know, it was a test because Mando's you're like your family and you have to be close, you know, it's your family and blah, 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 blah. You did, you chose the right way. It's like, it'll still be some way that Luke Skywalker gets to redeem himself. It's like, pfft. Speaking of redemption, the other day I did the DATHC challenge, which basically, oh, well, it wasn't a challenge, but it was a cup noodle that somebody sent me that 100 milligrams of D8, some weird type of THC, which is the ingredient that gets you high in weed. Oh my God, no, I don't want to do that ever again. I'm a lightweight and this was like, after I did it, like later the next day, after I like came out of my coma, I looked and I saw it said, it's like, this has a hundred milligrams of THC and it's not for the faint of heart. And if you're a seasoned smoker, you might really come with this might be a lot for you and be careful and might be good to share it. And I'm like, eh. But my buddy, Stumpy from North Little Rock, Arkansas, he was gonna do the uh, the Pocky One Chip Challenge at the same time when I was eating that noodle cup, right? And he flaked out. Well, he did it the day after. No, two days after, he did it. So, he's now Stumpy the Redeemed. So that's cool. All right, now the fun part, so we drain this except for two to three hundred mils of liquid. So that's what we as are gonna do, yeah. What the, oh. That's that. What is that? I need that. Ah, come on. That, that. Okay. If I can do this without making a massive conundrum happen. Okay, that's all done. We just need two to three hundred mils of this. Whoa! Conundrum happened. That's gotta be enough. Strain! Well, why am I holding it on this side? So there are our noodles, and then we only need two to three hundred, and that's just about the exact mark. I don't know what it is with me, but I have a, a way of uh, just pouring junk into something, and it ends up being the right amount, and I really thank whoever is responsible for that, for making that happen. I'm gonna guess it's my mom. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks, mom. Anybody like uh, Mr. Bungle? You guys listen to Mr. Bungle? Thanks, mom. I've been listening to a lot of Mr. Bungle when I go out working. Okay, come on, let go. So this comes with mung bean sprouts, which is kind of. Secondary to my standard doing, but you know, we'll see how these pickled ones go. And we have a large sachet of what all I can guess is just spicy stuff. That's the thing with that uh, cup noodle thing that I did. I was so would have rather done that one chip challenge. It's like, dude, got off easy. That's gonna be hot and spicy and you might barf and it might be too much and your gut might hurt. 
But this was like 24 hours being like, oh my god, oh my god, it's too much, it's too much. I'm still whining about it, and that was what? I did that on Saturday, and it's Wednesday. I mean, this is full of Szechuan pepper, like, inordinately. All I can smell is Szechuan pepper. And that, I got a problem with. And I know what this is gonna be. This is gonna be black vinegar. So that's the sour element. Right? Yeah. So there's our sour and spicy. And our sprouts. Certainly seems like a lot more than two to three hundred. We'll see. All right, coming back. Okay, let's give this stuff a try. I'm gonna start off with the broth, which I'm gonna guess is just gonna be super oily and super strong. Oh, God. Okay. It's not bad. I, I, I will say I like the tartness going on. Those are some of the mung bean sprouts. I think there's peanut in there too. Oh. My good God, man. Why do you need so much Szechuan pepper? Szechuan pepper is good. But in moderation, I mean, the sheer amount of Szechuan pepper in this is like, puts me off so much. God, will this even fit? I hope it does. Uh, yeah, barely, but it does. I'm gonna have to like dance this thing over the, God. This one will not be getting a, a store-bought hard-boiled egg. However, it's going to get some store-bought red Fresno pepper and a ton of spring onion. But it's already got its own mung bean sprout, so I'm not adding any more of that. Nope, no sir. Nope, not doing it. Get out of the way, we got enough Fresno in there for everybody. What time is it? Crap. Oh, good. I have an hour and 40 minutes till I gotta get my son off the bus, so we're good. And we've got... This one definitely is a candidate for sesame seeds. which I must remember this weekend that I have to get more of those at one of my favorite places ever, 99 Ranch Market. They seem to be all over the place near Highway 99. If you're looking for nudes, if you're, if you're looking for the noodles, that might be the place to go. Like that, over there. Let's find a, a nice song. This is the third review. No. Change it.